Today, I'm going to talk about or give you a lot of examples of different tables and figures that you can use while you are synthesizing your research. So in the section four of your research paper on findings and results, you can use a lot of these. Some of them are very generic that can be applicable to almost all types of research that you all are doing and some are a little bit specific. So I've got examples to kind of cover all of you in this presentation. So start off with, this is the first table that I saw, which I think you could also consider either including it as part of your paper or in the appendix. So here what they have done is they have taken the studies that they have reviewed in their paper and listed what research questions they have answered in that paper. So this is a very useful way to either this could be part of your prior research section where we are doing the existing work. I mean, you could use it in both ways. When you're doing the prior research uh, section, you can do it for the SLRs that you are reviewing. And later in the actual results and findings or data synthesis section, you can use a table of this format to select the research questions that the primary studies have used in, in their paper. Yeah. So if your primary studies are quite a lot, this could be added to your the appendix. So but this is a very good way to kind of pick up on the existing work that has been done. And while you do this, it may also give you some idea of some themes that you can assign that specific paper to. So that's also a kind of byproduct of this exercise. When I talk about these different tables and figures today, what I want you to start thinking while we are doing this is which of these tables would you want to incorporate in your systematic review paper? So keep that in the back of mind while uh, you listen to today's session. For keywords, I found this table and I included this because so far all the keyword related tables that I have seen that you all have written, I think this could be a good addition to that because I have not seen this come up. Like from the total number of papers, how many abstracts were read, and how many full texts were downloaded and read further. So this could be another useful piece of information that you can in include in your research, in your in your keyword section. If you can see the asterisk sign here, the explanation for that is in many cases, a study appeared in multiple search results. So they have not kind of removed the duplicates before making this table. When you're doing quality assessment, I already discussed a few tables in the previous session when we covered quality assessment. 